I just realized too, that's not actually Kiri who's wearing the uh the bandana. That's uh oh. I believe their coach is roughing for them. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I when see. the camps came over, Kiri was moved over into his proper seat. Oh, I see. They're just shuffling yes. around a bit. Like true yeah. ninjas. Exactly, you know? Ninja cats. I mean their their logo does have a headband as well, right? So Yeah. It's uh it's good. It's, it's part good. of their official uh, gear. I would like to see them have them all wearing those at officials, please. If they go to a LAN event, they should. They should all come yeah. out with them. They should all Naruto run out, too. No, no, that'd be too much. Too much. <laughs> we already saw which team was it that did that? We already uh, Was uh, it Team Spirit? I think Team Spirit maybe. did that at some point. They did the full Naruto runs. It was at the, the anime event. That would make sense. Yeah, it was appropriate was after all. Mm-hmm. Night All right, doesn't look like anything too wild right off the bat. Just an even split on the runes. Uh, they get the runes. I'm excited. So I haven't heading over to their lanes. Yeah, I haven't seen Leo Stout on his Lena in a while. He's very, very good with this hero, but he also be, has to be very, very careful, right? Because the whole like idea, if he's playing too aggressively, Faker's going to be able to punish that, having the higher mobility. Yeah, uh, Lina now got so much damage for free, though, I feel like she's back in a good spot as a nuker. Uh, we did have that long era of right click Lina dominating the field, but nowadays it's all about that spell amp and caster Lina build, which I find much more exciting to watch, to be honest. <laughs> Already bottom lane, you can see that harass coming out from Vitaly and Michael. Proud of dishing it right back at them, but of course, Isle having that sustain is definitely going to pay off. Yeah, we'll see if they're going to be able to commit for a big fight here, but the slow harass should be going the way of the IO and the Racer as they have that double range advantage on this lane. Am I a curmudgeon? I don't like the hero icon for this Razor Arcana. I think it looks too much like Faceless Void. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I don't... Okay, that makes it sound like I am the curmudgeon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it really, so I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. It's very purple. It has the same head shape, but... Yeah, true. A glorious hammerhead. Mm. You gotta play like Top a shark. Lane, very, very quiet, though. Uh, not seeing too much aggression coming out just yet. Like you said, this lane, very potent for either side, depending on who gets to jump on who first. Yeah, it's interesting to me that they wanted to lane it like this with the Jaro and CK together bottom instead of a Grimstroke bottom to get a little bit longer range harass and get the combo with the CK. Um, I feel like Jaro would have probably suited better here no matter which though i mean they get the same thing it's a melee melee range melee range uh so it, mm. it's all fine like that but uh i'm just a little bit a little bit suspicious uh on whether the gyro actually fits better together with ck down here is it the idea that they can throw out the missile and harass onto the io perhaps better like you have the two i mean i guess technically you have two stuns either way you've got ink swell uh, on that grim stroke. It, it's better for harass. The problem is that it's worse for killing, I feel. Like, actually bringing down the IO, the rocket barrage is not going to be that good because Razor will face tank a lot of that, sharing the damage with IO. And Inkswell would be having the opposite effect that if you stack up, you just take more damage. Right. Plus a stroke of fate going through multiple. Uh, exactly, yeah. Multiple bodies. But, hmm. but for now. Um, the lane that has maybe a slight edge here is the Lina so far against the Queen 13 and 7 versus the uh, 9 and 4. I just feel like she has such a nice advantage too. We talked about the spells, but also just being able to put out some of those clicks. Feels like uh, definitely Queen of Pain has to be a little bit closer, a little bit closer to even do those spells, right? And like you could just throw out the LSA. They're still taking a couple of hits from the tower during that, but. Yeah, has to be careful not to step under tower to take too much damage, but uh, you're definitely right. Queen has to get very close to deal her damage, whereas Lina is both auto-attack-wise and spell-wise outranging her. So uh, overall, uh, Lina having uh, a little bit of an advantage here. This is a very slow opening, it feels like, compared to our previous game that we just watched. Yeah, not quite as explosive. The teams are focusing a lot on just CSing right now, and we see uh, Sven pulling ahead a little bit compared to the CK. CK 11 and 4 versus the 19 CS on the Sven on his safe lane. Uh oh. Whoo, that was close. 
Baker, just seeing if he can go refill his bottle with the bounty rune, and luckily had just enough mana to be able to get away. Has the raindrops too, which are always helpful. Yeah, unexpected to see a CK come over there and check the bounty rune. <laughs> like, he, you normally expect him to be on the lane or farming a creep camp. Like, what is he doing over there? But Kutaro just uh, running around a bit. I don't think he's enjoying his lane that much against this mm -hmm. Razor. Well, it is designed to be problematic for him here, so... Can't say I blame him. And again, not great kill potential with uh, the particular hero that's paired up with him at this time. They do have the small camp though, so getting this pull, getting the kobolds is a bit unlucky, but at least getting the pull allows him to try and farm under tower and not have to go too far out on CK. I do like this rotation though, coming out from priorities, like, okay, we're not getting enough done in this bottom lane. What can we do top? How can I be of help? So they're gonna go use that homing missile over onto Lumiere. Devil in position, and that's gonna be a core kill with a good rotation coming out from Prada. That's fantastic, and immediately back to his own lane on Prada. So has his impact back to bottom lane, and top lane is gonna be happy about that. Getting a kill on Sven here. He was farming uh, well, uh, way too well in his lane, but uh, now they can actually start doing some tower damage as well. Also, see in the mid lane, they pushed back Faker to the point where he just has no regen. He's got you know those raindrops. He's got an empty bottle. And uh, Leo Style, meanwhile, continuing to see us. He has a water rune. It's going to get that level six pretty soon, too. I wouldn't be surprised if we see potentially a rotation towards that mid lane and a kill. Or uh, could also just see a solo one, honestly. I mean, the six minute is coming up, so 30 seconds from now, I expect to see some rotations towards those runes. Power runes are incredibly important for both Lina and the uh, Queen of Pain here. And Queen already spending her TP to go refill some mana in base and then TPing out to lane again. Whereas Neo Style is ready for those side lanes uh, rotations. Yeah, and look at this. Both the supports on either side making this rotation. Although, there it is. I told you, he didn't need to have the rotation. Oh boy. Yeah, that was a misplay, though. He, he didn't use his magic wand on the queen and he got way too close. Uh, but that is so painful for him. We'll be able to get the deny on the arcane, but it's looking like perhaps they can get a kill on Gardic. It's moving pretty fast, but with that slow, that's definitely a dead. Disruptor. So Leo's not gonna be feeling real good right now. He's got two kills under his belt. He's got lane superiority. Everything's looking good for him currently. And even Queen of Pain having to walk with shame because she teep it out mid. So it's just all adding up here. And Leo style gonna get towards uh, early spellcaster build here, going for the Ether Lance Rush. Has the mana boots, which is gonna allow him to spam a little. Bit. Rotation into the bottom lane. And let's see Kiri making this rotation. They've got their eyes on Vitaly. So go. Inkswell will continue to pop and it's gonna try to grab him, keep him alive. Michael making his way over. See another TP coming out though. Nope, it'll get cancelled. Vitaly is still alive. Did a good job focusing down the homing missile before uh, it hit there. Both of them using their auto attacks. Wisp getting a hit in as well. But uh, he does stay alive on the racer and he's gonna get healed up passively here by the Wisp. So. It'll be uh, completely fine. This is the one lane that isn't going so poorly right now for Infinity. He's trying to break this tether, but again, in comes Kiri. He's looking at Michael. Not going to be able to quite land the Inkswell. Yeah, no boots on Grimstroke. Can't really run down the uh, Wisp as he's sped up a lot by the Razor here. Should they be focusing more on the Wisp than on the Razor, do you think? I mean, ideally you kill the Wisp first, and they tried to do it right there, but yeah, the, in the first dive, maybe they could have just gone on the Wisp instead and gone to kill. Yeah. They got a little bit ambitious, thinking that, you know what, we can kill the Razor, we're behind, but CK had no damage. The, the Razor took all his mm -hmm. damage away. Once he has ulti, he'll still be able to do some damage at least by having his Phantasm, but uh, yeah, they, they didn't really have enough to bring him down there. More pressure being placed here towards this mid lane. Did see a rotation coming out from Gyro to the top, but Sven, he doesn't want to be in his lane anymore. He's not feeling super secure with the Disruptor not being there, so he's just going to try to jungle up. I wouldn't be surprised though to see some wards getting placed down. In fact, you see a smoke play coming out from Kiri and Leo style. They have themselves a haste rune and a uh, Laguna blade if they want to use it, but Sven already rotating towards his base. Just be a little bit closer. There's no vision up for him either. And with those heroes off the map, it's just a little too scary. Yeah, they didn't really know where he is. At least they're making uh, an effort to go in and try and chase him and shut him down. So the, the mentality is the right thing. You shouldn't let this Sven just free farm in the jungle. He's going to head over to the triangle right now, though, where there's a nice juicy four stack on the big camp. And uh, he'll pop his ulti, start farming that, and uh, then turn his attention to the ancients here. 
Yeah, right now it feels like uh, oh, their names are still messed up. <laughs> infinity, <laughs> infinity and Hokori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Akatsuki, I feel like they're really in the driver's seat right now, um, just because of the fact that like one of the big things on the side of uh, of Infinity is you know the Static Storm trying to mess up with some of these casters, right? Silence is so incredibly important against Frank. It's very important against Leo style. Uh, even just the CK too, so he can't get off the Phantasm, but no level 6 just yet on this Disruptor because he's had to be like a little homeless. He's had to wander around a lot. Yeah, the big thing that they need to look towards is activating the Queen of Pain. They need to find a way for him to use his ulti and get some value here, get some kill because he's falling behind right now. Lina is out farming him. He can't really sustain mid, so he needs to either make a rotation to another lane or they need to hard commit to mid. And whatever they do needs to happen without Sven, because he's just AFK jungle mode, he wants to farm. So Razor, Io, they need to go and do something with this queen. <laughs> Almost managing to get this kill on Gardic, but uh, a nice glimpse play. We'll keep him alive. Laguna Blade is down now too, so I'll escape with his life. But there is a tasty regen rune in the top, so Leo Stout probably not too upset that that didn't work out for him. Back to farming he goes. I like all this attention that they're putting over on Akatsuki towards controlling the runes. They actually should probably try and deward them as well because there are two rune wards out from Infinity. But uh, getting rune control when you have Lina and Queen in the game is so important. Lina is just gonna keep accelerating here as Queen doesn't get her hands on any rune really. Another glimpse, just like, I do not want to oh, do Leave me alone, he still pops, though. The burn, the 40 damage burn per second does a lot. He almost made it out this time. Yeah, that was so close. I can't, that was very on the edge with the Etherlands. The little tumblers toy actually was the only thing that made him connect that queue. Nice positioning coming out now from Akatsuki around this middle tower. Do they need to activate this Razor more, do you think? Is that one of the keys? Because Faker can't do this all alone. Yeah, right? I, I think so. I think they just need to find a moment. Maybe they were waiting for Disruptor ulti. He got it now. He has a smoke on okay. him. So maybe they will coordinate some form of move. But most likely, Iron and Razor are just running around saying, we can relocate, guys. We can relocate. But it's not that easy to set up the fight for the mm -hmm. Disruptor and the Queen. They basically need to find a good chance to glimpse people back and call the relocate awesome. when they do that. But uh, they don't have a hero that jumps and like initiates right now. I was about to say, that's one thing that I didn't think about in their draft, is they don't have that traditional initiator. Like, a Queen of Pain doesn't want to be the first one who jumps in, right? Because there's just so many disables that you could just slice her into pieces. She's more of a glass cannon at this point. They just need farm for it. So once Sven has some stuff, oh, this could be a, a glimpse forcing out He's going to split, like, right off the bat, though. He sees that Disruptor. He doesn't want to take the risk. Yeah, he didn't even didn't even wait for the glimpse to come out, just uh, immediately popping it. So it's pretty much the ulti on cooldown. Uh, a little bit of a win here. First small victory for Infinity. But it's not a victory in its own right. You need to make something happen with this brew to be on cooldown. So they're going to smoke over, run towards top, and look for a fight. This quap is so poor. Yeah, it, 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 times oh, are tough. It hurts. Times, times are tough. <laughs> times be tough out here in this economy. He's a thousand gold ahead of the Gyrocopter, who's a support. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hopeful. You got us in the first <laughs> half, Waga. Yeah, he's on All right, here again. they are. They're going to make a play on Kotaro in the top lane. Dropping the Static Storm, but he's got the armlet. He's pretty powerful right now, but what the follow-up of the Io and the Razor. He's going to try to toggles. toggle through it. He's making it work, honestly, because the rest of the team, they're here. They're following up. Silence over onto Michael, trying to just close the gap. Call down's going to get used. Landing onto multiples with Prada. He's a little bit too far ahead. He is going to end up falling. So the return squad trying to save their hero does manage to save Kotaro, but perhaps gets a little bit too over ambitious uh, as they end up losing their support. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful arm toggling to run away there, manages to stay alive. And yeah, they, they do commit a bit with the Gyrocopter, but not the biggest loss ever. On the side of Affinity, though, they will take anything they can get. If they get oh, yeah. a single kill, you know, that's infinitely more than they had before. So at least to get something for uh, Vitaly there. Yeah, what the heck happened to Kiri? I just realized Kiri is, uh, does not have his level 6 yet. That could have made a big difference if they had the uh, Soulbind there. He's been making a lot of rotations, mainly just been running around a lot, but they leave him top lane, he finishes it up and has enough gold for mana boots as well right now. Mm -hmm. Looks like they want to pair up a bit. 
Mm. That's going to be really nice too, being able to link the Queen of Pain to something so that way she can't dive in and out. No. Oh. But Kiri, he's waiting patiently, like he said, hiding in the tree line. They're playing towards the top. They could have a double Laguna Blade if they want to try to make this happen. But Leo Style, he's going to show himself. Oh, the Nordalina is here. Run. Oh, they try to go for that stun. Not going to be able to quite manage to land it. So the reload will come out. Yeah, but the reload will Michael also come back. Michael says goodbye, my <laughs> captain. Unfortunately. I give my yeah. life for you. No way out of this one for him. He's going to dodge the stun I mean, at least off, with some excellent jukes mark. of just running. Goodbye, little ball of light. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, that's the fourth kill for for Leo style now. Yeah, he's having a fantastic game here. Meanwhile, though, they are pushing out lanes. They're pushing bottom, farming jungle a bit here on Sven as well. He's got the blink dagger, so he has that tool to jump first. Doesn't have the full BKB yet, though, and that would be uh, more comfortable for him to jump into anything. But I think the moment they have relocate again, they should probably just look for a blink gank with Sven. Okay. Oh, they are smoked up middle then. lane. Oh, the immediate blink. They throw out that spear vessel charge, but good reactions. He's uh, he's alive. Quick fingers, quick fingers, quick reflexes. Yeah, that was uh, very very clutch. Losing him there would lose entire control of the area. They're still kind of losing control though of the area, but uh, they have a chance to go back and make a stab at it. It's like BKBs are on the menu for uh, Faker as well have that queued up and it seems really really important because he just can't dive in and dive out right this is a hero that likes to poke doesn't want to fully commit wants to be on the outskirts just cause a little bit of chaos in the middle of everything and yeah we, he's not going to be able to do it if she's locked down we've seen different builds on racer i've seen some blade mill racer lately as well uh seems to work pretty well but against ck blade mill makes a bit less sense not great to use blade mill against illusions bottom ck is the target now mm -hmm. Yep, the immediate hit just to slow him down here and lock him into place. He's trying to target, but again, when you have the global threat of an IO Razor, it's going to probably spell your death with the rest of the team there. Yeah. No toggling is going to save you on that one. They are going to go back together top as well, and they're going to be completely fine. Meanwhile, bottom tower is taking a bit of damage. I mean, on the bright side, right, you've got the... Uh, You've got the Static Storm on cooldown, which seems to be like their really big spell right now, aside from just chain stunning. I feel like you were looking for a bright side for a while there. You were like, on the bright side, <laughs> there's... I was trying to figure out, like, I was like, well, I mean, on some, like, on one hand, right, they got the kill on the CK, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. But on the side for, you know, Akatsuki, this is an opening for them if they wanted to do something with the Lina. Looks like they do as well. So they're going straight towards this uh, ancient area here, kind of fight immediately. Waiting for the glimpse. <laughs> Any moment now, this is gonna go right back, and we got a blink on the Lena, and they'll get their revenge on Gardic. I like this more than what we saw, was it yesterday as well? We saw Jaro not by the shard. I, I was talking about how support Jaro, at minute 15, you basically want to have the shard immediately. Yesterday we saw the uh, veil into Glimmer, into Force Staff, right. and waiting for getting the shard from Tormentor. But if you're going to play support Jaro, I think Prada is doing it the right way here. Just commit, get the shard yourself, and um, now you can have tons of damage in a fight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Gardic's holding on to two smokes, and he seems to be playing closely now to Michael and Vitaly. I'd be curious if they try to make something happen here. Dropping down the sentry. Yeah. They see this Lena. They ping her out a couple times, but no one else is quite in the area just yet. They do have the reload up, though, so if she gets a little bit too frisky here, they can respond in their own kind. Yeah, Lena as well going towards mid, though. She has that blink travels. Getting glimpsed back to bottom, though. Bye bye. <laughs> Gardic says bye to you, and he's going to be uh, just back to farming and well wishes then. I don't feel like. I don't feel like Leo Stout's too upset about that, honestly. This game feels uh, so different from the previous one. Oh, look at Prada. The rocket, the damage. He drops the static storm. He's like, no, 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 no. I don't want it. This is not looking good for... Oh, the Io, though, coming into play with the mech. We'll be able to keep Gardic alive. And no, it's not looking good for him as the tables are indeed turned. Vitaly showing up. Says, leave my support alone. Yeah, Wisp was ready with a lot of heal there. Getting Gardic back up to full HP almost with a single mech usage. 
but uh, very close to getting a kill and at least that forced out the Static Storm. So kind of limit their ability to go for ganks themselves. This is basically just a farm trade right now, but I think it's a farm trade that's overall favoring Infinity here. The Sven is getting stronger, the Racer is pretty massive, and while Queen is not having a good game, I think a big Sven can definitely outcarry a, a farmed CK. And he's got himself the BKB right now. It's coming out on the courier, which means I would not be surprised to see a smoke, uh, a blink, and just the BKB just causing intense panic. Yeah, I mean, you should probably play aggressively on a timing here because with the BKB and uh, and blink available, the CK is just behind you by 3,000 gold right now. So play towards that advantage and start doing something. Doesn't feel like anybody's grouping though at this time. Continue to see Leo down on the bottom lane by himself. Lumiere does get that BKB delivered, but isn't making his way towards his team just yet. Okay. Ion Razor paired at the hip as per usual, just making sure that they're alive and well. Guard trying to do a little farming and Faker. Uh, yeah, he's working towards his own BKB, so maybe they want to wait for that one as well. Yeah, I mean they they could they could wait for uh, for more BKBs here, get the triple BKB timing, but already having the racer and the Sven, I think they could start uh, going for place. And at the same time, though, this game is playing out a lot slower than the previous game. It's like a different different set of teams almost. The way this has become a, a sort of farm pact going on. Gotara will have his own BKB very soon. He's got. I believe he's going to do the disassemble into it, um, which will also be very, very big for the side of Akatsuki. What else do we see for items? Nothing really new over on Devil. Pressure being put over on the mid tower. We'll see the teleports coming in. I don't want to really give it away for free, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to let go of that tower. The Razor can just safely push this uh, together with his IO behind him. And Nima bottom, careful. though. Oh, the blink away. She's swift, but. Oh, manages to get out of the static storm, too, and they're going to go for the reload over to Leo Sky. He's trying his best, but they do manage to get the vision on her. So this is looking like a dead Leo style. Yeah, that's going to be a kill. And while they did pop this Sven ulti pretty early there, they can still transition this into a Roche immediately. They still have half the duration. And I doubt that we're going to see Infinity able to contest it, really. Because, of course, they do get the, the backup kill. The Wisp did reload from somewhere, and they found the spot they reload from. So. I'm curious if they're going to try to challenge this. It looks like Infinity's just going to back off. Yeah, they realize with Wisp down, maybe it's not the best idea to try for this fight. Still want to have him in the fight. Well, they have a juicy Wisdom rune that they can get instead. Yeah, and the full BKB is coming out for the uh, Queen now as well, so the Power Spike is definitely here. Oh no, she doesn't have it yet. Don't get jumped. No. <laughs> there it is, she's got it now. But she doesn't want to use it defensively either. It's Kataro and the rest of the team, they're here. BKB does indeed get used. The Soulbind gonna get used on Faker too, but he's out. Yeah, well, that is a, a bit of a force at least, getting that on uh, cooldown. And uh, even getting away with stealing some of the farm here. Infinity with a cheeky, cheeky move. And they still have a full duration BKB on Kotaro. He didn't opt to pop it in that fight, figuring they were getting a quick pick off, so. Feels a little bad for Faker. Doesn't end up dying, but does use his first BKB charge here. As now the rest of the team, they'll kind of smoke up. Maybe comb through the area, see if they can find any stragglers. Doesn't appear to be the case, though. A new move by Akatsuki. Gonna just run down straight to bottom here. Might actually connect into the Gyrocopter and the Grimstroke who are hanging around. Oh, not gonna be able to blink. A little bit of back over onto Kiri. Not who they wanted, but they will take it. I like that, meanwhile, they're just farming the enemy ancients with the Razor right now. Razor and Wisp just going wherever they want on the map. Double saying, I don't want to deal with this, I'm just going to teleport home. But while this is going on, they're making moves towards this Roche again. Yeah, that was a TP base by Brewmaster, and they can use this timing to go because they know that he's super far away. <laughs> Why is Gardic tanking this? <laughs> he's got Tranquils. Yeah, he just wants to get it's value It's just funny just watching him get smacked around and then eventually stunned by the Roche. Yeah, he's just helping his team a little bit, you know, making sure they don't go too low on the Sven. Yeah, appreciate it. Grimstroke with a steal attempt? Uh, he's going in. No. It's a little early though, Gary. He's trying. <laughs> it's 
still will be the dire though that gets to kill on Roshan and Faker will snatch up that Aegis. I appreciate the attempt by Kira there. That was very ambitious. I mean, he did have Blink Dagger, so it would be uh, pretty hyped to see him succeed there, but uh, very optimistic attempt. And Racer is going for a Blink Dagger next, even with a Wisp in the team as well. Just prioritizing having a way to really close the distance to the enemy team. Okay, he, he changed his mind. He removed it from a Q and putting his ult Curious. I like that more. Because um, mm -hmm. the problem with going Blink is that you might just blink away from your Wisp and untether yourself. And uh, sure, sometimes Wisp can just retether, but it does make it a bit awkward to play. Double damage bottled for the Sven. That God's strength is up. He is gonna hit hard. Yeah, and they are... Uh, they're taking down the Tormentor quickly here on the side of a cutscene. They need to be careful. All right, they succeed. Just going to be time. a shard going over. They just need that vision, though, right? They need the vision so that way they can get a glimpse play off if needed. So, Gyrocopter is not looking too healthy as he's going to be the pickoff. Stayed a little bit too close there. Gets jumped. I mean, Queen Ulti committed for it at least, but believing these kills and then also losing your tower doesn't feel good and this game is so awkward from uh, the perspective of Leo style by the way he had a great early game felt really strong and then he's kind of just on the back foot and his team is losing like must be a very confusing game for him he's got the Agnum Scepter now too yeah that gives him quite tremendous burst he still doesn't have shard though that shard is really really valuable for us uh, for uh, burst Lina I'm I actually would say that this is incorrect build because the Aghanims, yeah, it gives you 35% spell amp, but just the shard alone, if you ulti first, you get 200 damage per Q and W during the ulti. I, that, that's more than 35%. So what's the play here coming out from the side of Akatsuki, right? We talked about the Lena having a very good start, but now they're kind of bleeding a little bit on some of these kills. Do they pick up a smoke? Do they just try to all move together? I mean, it's hard, right? Because they're usually at least three together, and then the two, Razor and Io, relocate at any moment. Oh, they can go and Sven right now. They have some vision on him, but they're too far away. If he comes up for a creep wave, they can stun him. The yeah, greedy man hiding, looking for... Yeah, he's very greedy. Laguna Blade's gonna get used, and that'll be the BKB. In comes the reload. Over onto the back lines, they'll find Kiri. Get him cleaned up. Prada still left behind. Probably going to be the next one to fall. Does he use the call down? Tries to buy himself a bit more time. Not going to be able to do it. So they end up losing both supports on the side of Akatsuki. The problem is they look for a pickoff, but they don't do it with the chain stun heroes. Like, you got to play towards the heroes that actually chain stuns here. You have your Blink Grimstroke with the Inkswell. He wasn't actually part of this. The CK with the stun also wasn't part of this. So you're trying to chain stun with a homing missile and light strike array and burst a Sven. That's never going to work. You need the Grimstroke. I don't know why he went up higher. I think he was trying to get a ward down, but uh, he needed to be there with him. That could have been a kill on Sven. Hmm. Fully completed Assault Kiras now on this Razor. Yeah, he's... Another big item for him. He's getting pretty massive on the Razor for sure. Um, and he's just gonna keep going. This extra attack speed as well makes a big difference since he steals away the enemy damage. The AC feels, feels so good. Auto attacks in general are uh, pretty damn strong for the Razor right now. And Silver Edge coming out for the Sven, so also getting himself closer to, uh, to not really gear cap, but getting to, uh, you know, this point of being big six slotted Sven. It's getting a little bit scary too. Gardak has picked himself up the early gem, and they're going to be able to remove a lot of this vision, so it's not safe for any of these guys to make moves outside the base. Yeah, the gem is... I say that as Prada just, you know, over here on the side. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, he has a ward, so he feels safe for now, but it's only a matter of time before Gardic makes his way over to check that cliff as well. Oh, they found themselves the Brewmaster. Frank, he was trying to get the split off, but nope, not going to be able to do it. <laughs> Who expects a Sven that deep in the trees just hunting, right? Okay, they're going for the Wisp, the reload play. Again, it's going to cost them the, uh, the Wisp's lives here. Oh. oh, they brought both of them back. All right. Maybe they can turn this into something more. As now, they've already used the BKB. They go for the Light Strike Array. Trying to get as much physical damage out as possible. Drag back. Libier's here, though. Oh, my God. He is just trying to get the oh, final no. cleave hits off. And he manages to get it with Kiri being over on the side. Yeah, look at that tip. Just like, thanks, Kiri. You enabled us to kill your core. 
He immediately <laughs> regret my decision. Oh. Yeah, against any other hero, body blocking to try and save your core there could be a good idea. But against a great cleave, it doesn't really stop it as he cleaves 100% damage. <sighs> and uh, yeah, you just gave him a nice attack target, That's basically. That's bad. That reminds me of the, the days of like carry gyrocopter and people buying sentries only to put down a sentry so a gyro could auto attack with his flak cannon. Just uh, oh, right, deny yeah. your own sentry. In this case, it was a Grimstroke, you know? <laughs> sometimes a ward, sometimes a Grimstroke. Well, I mean, sometimes when the game's bad enough, he is just a ward. <laughs> we haven't hit that point, though, yet. He's got big dreams, this Grimstroke here, you know? He's got himself a sheep stick queued up for some day, eventually. Yeah. Got himself a Ghost Scepter, so Sven can't cleave him in half. Well, he, he wants to get a Ghost Scepter as well, but yeah, he, he doesn't have it yet. He only has that, that Blink Dagger. I think the big dreams... Like I said, he's got big dreams. Yeah, the big, big dreams for <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know if the game will be alive, really, by the point he can get his Hex. So I would probably prefer to see him just buy out, like, Shard, maybe. Get that strong Dispel for your team and extra healing mm. as well. Um, some form of value immediately, because you're basically just falling behind and losing right now. And... The Hex is so far away. This is so risky with Leo style being up here. I guess when you're hunting, or not hunting, but when you're in the same vicinity as the guys that can reload on you, it's a little less scary because you know there's only usually going to be two as long as you can see someone else on the map. Yeah, that's true. I mean, normally you want to play towards the IO. Whenever you play against any form of IO pairing, you want to yeah. gank the IO, make moves towards him because then it's more awkward for his team to reinforce. Whereas you know if you catch the Sven or if you catch the Queen, there's always going to be that IO and uh, Razor joining in as well. How do you feel about this Radiance on the Brewmaster? Mm, I mean, it's not bad. I I kind of would have wanted to see an AC on him instead. Of, I guess they went AC on the CK. Okay. Yeah. So that's the reason he did it. Um, yeah, then it's probably the best that he could do. Because uh, they just need to have an Assault Curious as well, but since CK got that covered, he can go for the Radiance, and then I like his choice of going back for a BKB and Shivas. Would be strong items. Um, it does give a little bit of AoE mischance, which can save lives against Razor and Ooh, Sven. ooh. Prada pops the smoke. It's gonna be the one to tanks the gang, potentially. Kataro just BKBs. He's like, I don't want to be here. And they... Do you manage to get the... Uh... Kira got jumped by Sven, yeah. so yeah, yeah. He, he got bursted Every, on Gripsor. They managed to get people out, so... That is reload down, at least, but... Yeah, it's... yeah, you gotta be so careful moving around this map, because uh, Infinity not gonna give you any quarter with this lineup. These wards are amazing right now for Infinity. They got great control on the map, and they're finding bottom as well. Frank just wants to farm. Mm, this is not looking great here for Frank. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to... Maybe? Oh, the cleave damage, though! The yeah. pandas! Oh! That's a bummer. Yeah, the, that damage is pretty absurd right now. Sven level 24, buffed up by a Wisp as well. Just absolutely murders the Brulings in three hits. <laughs> That's a He's fast takedown. I like that he goes immediately back towards mid as well. Just playing active Dota, looking for a Gyrocopter. Can't find him. Yeah, and get some creeps that he's also farming along the way. That's efficiency, baby. He's flying ahead towards his level 25 here. Going to be a fantastic timing for him as well. The Sven pick just really paying off for them, and also the, the IO Razor, like... There's some really good draft choices this time around, which is good, because that's what we said during the, uh, the draft, is that, you know, the double melee just not being conducive to what they needed. It's good choices, but it's also Infinity... Or, oh, sorry, Akatsuki. <laughs> Thank God, I, I get tricked by the banners. Uh, kind of playing into it, right? Because they picked this mm -hmm. CK into Sven. Right. And, well, we're kind of seeing some of the problems here. Sven is this massive AoE damage hero, and you can't rely on your CK. Like, yeah, it worked out great last game because you had a good lane, or, you know, one, a fantastic lane, but you can't just run it back into an unfavorable matchup. So this time, Akatsuki perhaps giving themselves a bit of a draft issue instead. Mm -hmm. Alright, that is another Aegis going over to the side of Infinity. And quick smoke, and they go towards top. Kotaro is gonna wisely TP <laughs> out, though. He's got himself a Mage Slayer. 
Yeah, it's pretty normal. The Echo Saber into disassemble into BKB, and then you use the remaining uh, Orchid uh, or the remaining Oblivion to go towards Orchid upgrade. Um, it's not going to be very useful yet, though, since most of the damage is just right click based, and the Mage Slayer yeah. itself. It won't really mitigate much at all. Queen can even have the uh, the BKB dispel, the Mage Slayer effects. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's natural progression for CK here, but it's not very useful in the game that he's in. Mm -hmm. I kind of would have wanted to see him go for a Midas at some point earlier on in the game here to be able to keep up with the scaling because he's falling so far behind. He, he absolutely cannot fight anything. Yeah, it's definitely proving to be pretty difficult. I don't think we've seen a full five-on-five five fight either in quite a while. It always seems to be just one person kind of getting picked off, and maybe, like, there might be a couple other heroes a little bit nearby, but they're hesitant to actually fully engage. Yeah, it looks like uh, with the refresher now on Razor as well, the uh, Infinity Squad is feeling very confident and might go high ground even with this Aegis hero mid. Yeah, they got the MKB on Sven too, and this is not looking like... Okay, yeah, they managed to get the pandas out, but the cleave, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. Vitaly's got to feel pretty good about this. Like, ha, ah, sucks not being able to play your hero, doesn't it? Uh, Brewmaster's the cursed hero of this uh, series. <laughs> Don't pick Brew. Mm, the leap forward, they're going to just rip apart Prawn, throw the Chaos Bolt over onto Lumiere. Try to drag back over to Vitaly. Not going to be enough, though, to actually kill them here because they have this Io Star running for his life, but he's just getting sapped of all of that damage. Now, Star, he's so slow. He's trying to climb his way back into the base. Is going to be able to do it, but they'll end up losing Kiri over in the corner. Prod is trying to fight with Faker. You are not going to be able to do that, my friend. That's all four years dead on the side of Akatsuki. Die back on Jaro as well. They'll back. Yeah, they buy back, but only two of them alive. They got away for Brewmaster, but... <laughs> What can he even do here? They don't even have the soul buy, so they can't even like and they don't have the uh the Laguna either. Yeah, the mm. the spend still is ages. This is just all despair for them. We're trying to do what he can, but if he gets a little bit too close, he'll get blinked again. I mean they've got, again they've got the soul bind and the Laguna. They could try to at least burn the Aegis. But that puts them in a very awkward position, yeah. <laughs> the Look at that. Doesn't even matter. I was like, yep, I got you, bro. Don't worry. Yeah. Look at the tips coming out, too. Michael got the holy locket and the mech there, just saving him. No problem. This is looking like it's going to be mechs. They are going to have the CK up in about 12 seconds, but you still have Lumiere with this Aegis, with an Io, and this time it's going to be Akatsuki who called the GG. Yeah, they know. They know when they're beat, and I respect it. I mean, this, this one is completely over. Even though all the heroes are respawning, there's nothing you can do against Megas as well this early in the game.